Welcome to SKC Tech Clips. Today, we'll show you how to calibrate a sample pump for high flow sampling with a filter cassette. Start by assembling equipment required for calibration and sampling. Choose a constant flow air sample pump capable of flows one liter a minute or higher. Select a calibrator within the pump's flow range. Use method-specified filter cassettes, available preloaded with filters and supports, or as separate components for user loading. A filter cassette holder allows sampling media to clip securely onto worker clothing or in the area to be sampled. Tubing connects train components, while optional lure adapters make it easier to connect tubing to the filter cassette. Calibrate Verify Pump Flow Rate before and after each sample. Remove plugs from the inlet and outlet of a cassette containing a filter representative of the type to be used in the field. Use flexible tubing and lure adapters to connect tubing to the cassette inlet and outlet. Use tie-gone tubing to connect the pump inlet to the cassette outlet. Use a second piece of tubing to connect the cassette inlet to the calibrator outlet or suction port. Run the pump for five minutes and the calibrator according to manufacturer instructions. Set the method specified flow rate on the pump and enter calibration mode. See pump operating instructions for more information. Observe the flow readings on the calibrator screen. Adjust pump flow calibration until the calibrator displays a consistent reading that is within 5% of the desired flow rate. Remove the calibrator, tubing, and cassette. We are now ready to begin sampling. Unplug the outlet of a new cassette and insert into the holder inlet side down. Connect the cassette outlet to the pump inlet using the holder's connector and tubing. Attach the holder in a worker's breathing zone and remove the cassette inlet plug. Attach the pump at the worker's waist where it will not inhibit movement or sampling. Turn on the pump. Sample for the length of the work task or shift to meet requirements. Sampling times may be limited due to analytical reasons, so be sure to check your method. Stop sampling by turning off the pump. Remove the sampling train from the worker. Remove the filter cassette from the holder and reinsert the inlet and outlet plugs. On a sampling sheet, record pertinent sampling information such as sample start and stop time, flow rate, temperature, and atmospheric pressure. Identify and label each cassette for chain of custody. Package all samples and blanks for shipment to an accredited laboratory for analysis. Remove the cassette holder from the pump and reinstall the calibration train to verify that flow calibration is still within 5% of the desired flow rate. For more information and tech clip videos, visit www.skcinc.com. Click on Technical Library.